Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. Today, this video is on managing our large household series, and today's Tuesday. Tuesdays are my more favorite days. Yes, I enjoy the weekends and I enjoy Fridays, things like that, but Tuesday during the week is probably one of my favorite days because, you know, the weekends are family and busy, and then Monday is back to getting everything, the house back in control, cleaning everything up, getting all the laundry done school done and busy 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 and I feel like by the end of the day it's like okay I got everything done but Tuesday I can wake up and the laundry is all put away I can think more about what I have to do for the week I have a lot more time today to do extra things so Tuesday is more my chill day not chill in a sense that I don't do anything just chill that I don't have anything major to do today so Today's day is more just normal chores. I do my, um, I get up in the morning, I do my work, and then um, my, my household chores are make my bed, clean the bathrooms, just a quick wipe, and they're usually pretty clean because Monday I clean them a little bit better because of the weekend. And then um, that's it for me, picking up the house, but that's not major because most of it's all picked up after Monday because it's pretty messy from the weekend. and so it's more relaxed and then this way today I can sit down I usually have gotten my list from yesterday of what I needed to do this week and then um, but I don't usually accomplish it on Monday because there's so much going on so today is more okay now I can sit and I can think about you know things I want to do extra I'll sit and do maybe some more reading with the kids today um, make sure I get in things that I've forgotten during the week for school things like that extra time for that and that's why I enjoy Tuesdays it'll still be a busy day trust me I will you know, still have to do three meals a day, still have to homeschool everybody all day, still have to get the kids out for exercise, and still have to do life and take care of them, and that's busy, but it's just a lot more easier. Even today, like last night, I was able to go get all my food for today out and put it in the refrigerator so I can thaw it for day, where Mondays I'm usually scrambling and um, grabbing the rest, the leftovers from the weekend, and we eat that up type thing. So today is a lot more I'm able to think. I think my mind is a lot clearer on Tuesdays. <laughs> so I know for today, I got out um, chicken, I got chicken noodle soup that I made this weekend. So I have got that. Let me see. I've got this. We made this this weekend, so we will have this for lunch. And then I pulled out the grilled cheese sandwiches. We will make that for lunch today. Breakfast, I have some breakfast burritos and French toast. And then over in this refrigerator, I got out um, stuff for today for meal. So I'm going to make a meatloaf, and I'm also going to cook a million-dollar casserole. And then I found some rolls in the freezer, and I've got these shredded potatoes. I think I'm going to make cheesy... Um, I'm gonna make a cheesy, um, what's that, hash brown bake? Hash brown bake, yes. I was going to do, I'm thinking I have some potatoes in the pantry that are gonna go bad. And I might do like oven fried potatoes. I might do that over the cheesy potatoes because the cheesy potatoes won't go bad, but the oven fried potatoes will. So actually I'm gonna do oven fries today. Um, so like I can think about that. So things, um, it's just a lot easier planning out meals. So I will do something that takes a little bit more time, meal prep, where normally I just pull up the lasagna and throw in the oven. But today I can do something extra because I have that little bit more freedom to do that. So today I'll cook the meatloaf in the oven. I'll cut up a bunch of oven fries. And then I'm also gonna cook at the same time the million dollar casserole so that tomorrow, since it's Wednesday, it's a little busier because we have church and um, we have a friend come over that day, I'll just be able to reheat that up. It'll be really easy. So. Tuesdays are good for that for me. I plan that out that way so that it's a little bit more of a lull instead of just go, 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 go all the time. It gives me a little bit of a break. So that's the start of my Tuesday. Um, the children, I'll be taking the breakfast burritos out, putting them on a plate, putting them in the microwave for the children so that as they wake up, they can have breakfast. And then my school is getting out. I've got this over here from yesterday. So that's the school stuff I need, the books that I need. And then the other children's is downstairs. That's Tuesday. Whatever day's the busiest, don't make every day super busy. And sometimes when you've got a lot of little kids, every day can be super busy. But if you plan out and like know that you're gonna do something huge, like my big day is a laundry day, and that's a huge and cleanup because from the weekend. So I know that's on Monday, and so now Tuesday, I make this day just be a little bit less crazy, just to give me a little bit more sanity. Otherwise, you just go, 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 go all the time. So. That's my Tuesday. I'm looking at the kids' chart, what they have to do, if anything extra. Their jobs are a lot easier as well. Um, when I have my chart on the wall, their 
Tuesday. Let's see. They still have their regular chores, which is, you know, taking care of the animals, um, sweeping the floors, things like that. But on Tuesday, mine has nothing here extra. That means I can have devote extra time to helping somebody. Um, my son cleans outside. My daughter just fills the bathroom supplies and straightens the basement. My other daughter Windexes everything, so she'll clean the tablets. I say Windex, but I've switched that to vinegar, so I should put vinegar. <laughs> that probably looks really weird. It just means clean the tablets, the phones, the mirrors, the coffee table, the windows, etc. And I'll help her with this because cleaning that is a lot. But if I didn't, that's why my day is free, so that um, if I can't get to it, it still gets done today. But if I can help, then I will. Um, and then my other children just clean their corner downstairs. And so that makes our Tuesdays very easy and very chill for them too. And it also gives them a little break because Mondays are busy for them too. That's Tuesday and we're gonna keep going. I'll do some more videos for today. So I got the kids their breakfast and I got out my meatloaf and my million dollar casserole I'm gonna put in the oven. I'm heating up our chicken soup for lunch. I got the griddle out for the grilled cheese. That'll be lunchtime. And then I just had to open up a can. This is the nacho cheese we use from Sam's Club. Instead of using like Velveeta, and then I put it in these little containers. And I'll freeze these. And so two, four, made six of them. One is put in here. I put a container of that in and a can of cream of chicken soup. I had one more can in my pantry. I was going to make some homemade, but I already had one, so I just used that up. And then I cut up a little bit of onion that we had from our hamburgers this weekend. And then we're going to add this leftover cheese that I had out. So we're going to pour this in here and mix that up. And then I've got a bag of shredded hash browns. These were 50 cents because they were frozen solid. <laughs> and so they're fine when you thaw them. So we're going to cut those up and we're going to add those to this. Okay, after we mix that, that's the um, hash brown potatoes. We're just going to put it in this pan here. And then we're going to bake it. We'll have this with... Um, the meatloaf, and then I also have some baked beans left over from when we cooked out yesterday, or on Sunday. So I will act, I was just gonna throw those away. I thought, what can I do with these? Because baked beans aren't very good frozen. So I'm actually gonna heat those up with the meatloaf and have meatloaf, cheesy potatoes, baked beans, and something else. I don't know what. Maybe just a salad. We'll see. And that looks good. Dinner. I have baked beans, here's the cheesy potatoes, and here's the frozen meatloaf. I will cook this for a while. It's only 9.30 in the morning, and I'm going to put it in the oven on my convection oven, let it cook real good, get it done, and then I can just have it warm. So that way this afternoon, if we want to go to the park or we get busy, dinner will be finished no matter what. I find that if I do get one thing done, like dinner is the most important thing. If I get that made for sure, then it's finished. If I can start lunch, then great. But we've got the soup going there. I'm actually going to cook that too. And then I pulled out some apples. Um, we're going to eat these today because I have a lot of apples and so I put them on the counter and then that way I'll force everybody to eat some apples today. <laughs> it's Maddie doing her morning chores. She puts all the dishes away. None of our dishes are breakable. Well, they are breakable. They're that mel mel melanin plates or whatever. I don't know what the name is, but um, these are my bowls I got from the Amish store and they're awesome and we love them. We call them blates. We use these 99% of the time. And then I bought, um, I had plates, they're melon plates. These I got from um, Big Locks actually. But we had them from Walmart up in our old state. They had the melon plates, but I can't find them anymore. They're like the cafeteria school plates. That's the material. So these, I bought at Big Lots. They were $2 a plate and $2 for a bowl. So I got matching, so it would match turquoise in my kitchen. So she puts all the dishes away right here. She's doing that. And then Autumn is over here. <laughs> Autumn's doing her sweeping job for the morning, so every morning she does her sweeping. <laughs> and she's getting every no, every morning you sweep. Every day, every no, every day, every day, every morning you wake up, that's what you just is your thing. You guys are gonna go outside right now? We're not gonna go play. We're gonna go finish our stuff. And then Brooklyn is over there and she is windexing right now. So she is doing windexing, she is using her vinegar and wiping everything down real nice and smooth. So there's no streaks with our newly found favorite thing. All the dishes away, so now she is picking this up because it's what? Pretty wet, isn't it? So she's gonna take that. Is it pretty soaked like it's too wet? And you're gonna put that in dirty laundry. Here, we can take this towel and we can wipe off the counter so it doesn't get all yucky. So she can pick that up, put that in dirty laundry, wipe it off so that our counters don't get ruined and then that's completed. And Jaden is vacuuming away out there, getting the whole house picked up. We just sweep the floor. Oh, this dripping. So I would put this right here. There you go. Now go ahead and wipe it off. Got it all good. Get all the wipe off. Good job. Looking good, Miss Maddie. 
we get uh, vitamins for everybody. We're just using these right now for the kids. This one for me, I'm taking a cranberry so we get them all out and then everybody can take their vitamin. Go ahead guys, take your vitamin, you can eat it. I'm gonna take in for the day. Just take one for you and leave the other one so that we know who's they go to. And then Jaden has another job we do is we clean our vacuum out once a week. I found if you don't do this, that filter gets clogged more and we do a lot of vacuuming and we could empty that canister every day that we vacuum. So we clean it out, I wash it out, wash the filter off and then set up to dry so it's ready for the next day. So that's something she does each week and that helps keep our vacuum working. Better. I really believe that. It's Brooklyn doing our Windex on the refrigerator. Now sometimes I normally would do that but today I asked her to do it because I don't know when I will get to it. So she's cleaning with our window cleaner here, or our window cleaner, our vinegar cleaner, straight vinegar, and just wiping everything down. Now it is time to take a break for lunch. Um, I've done a couple, I've done the little kids school together and then they have to go this afternoon do some more reading and the older ones, I checked one of their schools, actually Brooklyn, I finished hers, she did hers last night. She likes to get hers done at nighttime so she doesn't have to do this during the day. So she did all her paperwork last night. So I did that and then I checked on my dinner. I'm so thankful it's cooking. So I've got my Cheese and potatoes are here and they're done. These are really good. And then I got my baked beans back here. I'm so leave them on here. And I still have in the oven, my meatloaf is cooking. It's still cooking away. So I'll let that cook for a while. And this is still, that's still um, cold or cooler. So I'm gonna let that cook for a while, but I'm glad to have that done because I'm probably gonna go to the park today. I started cooking up my grilled cheese here, which is great. Just pull it up, put it up here. I think about, people say it's so much easier to make grilled cheese right then and there. Freezing it, I totally agree with you. I totally agree that it's easier to just pull out the bread, or not easier. It's probably just as easy to take out the bread and make it right then and there. But the problem in our home, I went shopping, what, two weeks ago, three weeks ago? Three weeks ago, and got a big block of cheese, and I got all my bread. What happens in our household, people see the bread, they will grab that and make a quick sandwich instead of eating, like especially the older ones, not so much the little ones, but the older ones, instead of eating, eating the food that I had made, because they're like, eh, it's casserole or eh, it's soup. And so they will grab that and eat it. Kids will grab a piece of cheese for a snack because they like that. So that would be gone right now if I didn't make these sandwiches and freeze them because it's just one of those things that people enjoy eating and they'll take and eat it and that's, and then I would run out. So that's why I like freezing the grilled cheese sandwiches because of, um, right now I've got, I don't know, 30, 40, 30 sandwiches downstairs in my freezer and it's the end of the month and it's a great thing to pull out. So that's why I like doing the sandwiches that way. Um, just makes it so that we always have it and the bread's fine. It doesn't get hard. Ours doesn't get hard or anything. So this is good. We're going to have lunch right now. While we're eating lunch, I'm going to look around here. Um, we have our apples out still for snack, and I've been drinking my water. I've been trying to drink a lot of water, so I've got half of it gone, so I'm going to keep on drinking that before I have lunch, and then um, I'm going to read our Miller book. We finished our Prudence and the Millers, and then I forgot I gave um, my other book, the one I wanted to read next to a girlfriend to read, so we are going to start on this one. Um, school days with the Millers. That's going to be our next one. And this doesn't have a book with it. Color it in, as you can see. But it's got stories. Laura's first day in it. It'll go through and read. And we're going to read that. And then we're going to read Mrs. Piggle Wiggle, a chapter of that book. And my daughters and I are going to do Noble Girlhood. And then I've got two books here to read for the older girls to read to the little ones. So we're going to finish that up this afternoon. Okay, come to the end of our Tuesday. And we got our cheesy potato casserole here. And our meatloaf cooked. And our beans. And I pulled out some rolls that I had. So I made little plates. For the kids, there's some outside still. My boys are climbing up the mountainside right here with the rope. They're having a fun time out there. Food, I got, this is my Asian lettuce wrap, so I got this out for me with my lettuce. And I'm gonna eat this, and that's gonna be a good dinner with some of this. I like this on top, too. Sweet chili sauce. It is our Tuesday. It was a good day. We got um, all of our stuff done, very chill day. We were gonna, weren't gonna go to the park because it was kind of cold here, but then um, it was just windy, so then we went down um, to the park. It was beautiful, it was glorious. Super warm, nice, kids had a good time. We got to, I got to walk, and the kids got to play with their friends, and it was a good time. So now we're home, 5.30, and we're gonna eat, and then chill the rest of the night. Everybody's tired, my muscles are sore, I know they're tired and sore, and then that's the end of our Tuesday. So we'll have a good day, nice relaxing evening, and then we will see you for Wednesday. Have a good day, bye-bye.